This conference will now be recorded. Okay, uh, so uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is manufacturer partners, okay, MPA. So the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see introduction to manufacturer part numbers. You will understand what is manufacturer part numbers, why they are used, the advantages of using MPN materials. We will see this, why we need to use this manufacturer part numbers. Prerequisites required for the use of manufacturer part numbers. So what settings we need to do in the system, okay, to use this manufacturer part numbers. Okay, then how to order materials using an MPA. So how to create a purchase order using these MPN materials numbers and then execute a purchasing process with the MPNs. So how the purchasing process is done using the MPNs we will understand. So these are the these are the topics we will be covering in the manufacturer part numbers. Okay. So first we understand what is manufacturer part number purchasing with manufacturer part numbers. Okay. If you wish to influence the precise source or quality of materials, you can tell the vendor from whom you want to procure a material, which manufacturer the material is to be supplied by and the part number used by that manufacturer. So basically, let's say you are purchasing a metal from a vendor, but that vendor again purchasing the material from two different manufacturers. So when you are purchasing that material from the vendor, you want to inform the vendor that I need the material from only that manufacturer. So if you see this picture, you will understand. So here we are purchasing, we are a company. We are purchasing the material from a vendor. So this is the vendor. Okay, he is the vendor. So you are purchasing it from this vendor. But this vendor again, in turn, Man, uh, purchases this material from the two vendors, two manufacturers, let's say. So now, during your purchase order creation to the vendor, you tell them, tell the vendor that I need the material only from this manufacturer. I don't want the material which is manufactured from this manufacturer. So you want to inform that vendor. I I need only from this manufacturer. I don't want from this manufacturer. So in this case, you will be using the manufacturer part numbers. Okay, so here you have the vendor. This vendor again purchases that material from two manufacturers, but you need you want to have only material from this manufacturer. Okay, so in that kind of scenario, you will be using the manufacturer part number MPM. Okay. To do so. To do so, you can inform the vendor from whom you procure a certain material like the desired manufacturer name. So during the procurement, your purchase order creation, you will tell the vendor that I need the material from this manufacturer only. Okay. For example, your vendor procures ball bearings for resale from two manufacturers. That's what I just explained. Okay. Let's say one is Cinder Company, another one is Miller Corporation. Since the quality of cinder ball bearing does not satisfy your requirements, you want to have the Miller product. So you want to always have the ball bearing supplied by Miller. Okay. So you inform your vendor of this by specifying the manufacturer and the MPN in the purchase order. So in the purchase order, you will mention who is the manufacturer and his material code, nothing but MPN. Okay. So for that kind of scenarios, you will use manufacturer part number. So we have discussed this already. So in the purchase order, you will enter your our internal material number and manufacturer part number, material code of the manufacturer, and you will enter the material uh, manufacturer name also. So here you have two. One is our vendor, our vendor, and also the manufacturer. Manufacturer. Okay. So we will now talk about manufacturer part number. So basically, uh, here when you are when you want to use this MPN functionality, you have two materials. Now, one is our internal material number, our SAP company internal material number, okay, and also material master for MPNs, material number of the manufacturer. 
so here you will have two materials okay so basically let me open a notepad file here you have two internal material number our our material number internal scp material number another one is mpn material pn material number we will create both we will have both okay so so here all the inventory management mrp everything valuation everything happens for our internal material number whereas material number of the manufacturer nothing but mpn you will just maintain this text is conditions if required and you can maintain the mapl manufacturer approved part list mapl i will show you that in the system so that is the difference okay you can store the manufacturer's name manufacturer's number and specific material designation and text in mpn material master records you can use the mpn in the procurement process along with your internal material number okay so during the procurement process along with your internal material number you will use the mpn stocks are managed under your internal material number only but even though you have mpns but in the inventory management stocks and everything managed with our internal material number only similarly material requirement planning is carried out only with respect to your internal material and even mrp is carried out for our internal material number after you post the good receipt into stock for the ordered mpn materials any additional mpn information on the material is lost so once you do receive the material everything happens at our material number material valuation is also based exclusively on your internal material So prerequisites and master data. To use the MPN functionality, what is the prerequisites and master data? We will discuss. Okay. The following, the following preconditions must be met before you can work with MPN. First one, in customizing, the general use of MPNs must be active. Okay. So let me show you this now in the system. So. So, first, first one is in customizing general use of MPNs must be active. So, there will be a T code. Okay, OMTO. In this T code, if you go. Here you need to activate manufacturer part number. This you see it is already there. Normally it will be there. If it is not there, you need to activate this. This is a one-time setting. If you want to use the MPN functionality, okay, in the transaction OM20. Okay, so once you do this, next one is in customizing at least one manufacturer part profile must exist. Okay, so there will be a MPN profile you need to create. Okay, standard SAP comes with some profiles. So let me show you. Let me go to configuration. CRO. Go to SAP reference IMG. Scroll down. Go to materials management. Okay, go to purchasing. Okay, 